Hello, America. Now, for the record, my name is Tyler Navratil, and uh, I'm livid with this country's government. And I'm livid with the citizenry, because here's why nothing ever gets better. Here's why, besides all the obvious distractions like sports and uh, American Idol and The Voice and all that other stuff, um, nothing ever gets better because government is a cancer which invades every element of our daily life. And it's got agents or tendrils that reach out. And I'm talking about employees. All these fucking government employees that don't do anything right, don't do anything well, uh, they're hooked right to the system. So they, they might not like this part or that part uh, of whatever is going on, but they make their money and their lifeblood from this part of that. That, uh, that which that doesn't that which does not work pardon me um, we have a serious problem and it'll never get better and it all needs to come down I just left a collections office I'll spare you the story uh, a county clerk collections for Arapahoe County the 18th judicial district um, for court fees I tried to set up a payment plan um, now this court it should be noted took has taken everything from me including my children by way of a mentally unstable wife who was allowed to leave the state and as I'm, as I'm appealing this case um, there's a protection order in place that means that I can't contact my kids or be around my kids my kids are five and six now when they were taken they were uh, three and three and four and there was no evidence of any any sort of any violation except a, a pathological liars testimony in a misdemeanor case there uh, is only six jurors and hearsay or or one story is admissible as that as evidence now to make a long 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 super arduous journey of a tale uh, a story short I was railroaded by this by a judge named uh, judge rolls Cheryl roll Stokes okay um, she's since been kind of like demoted to only hearing traffic cases but this was a misdemeanor with zero evidence and no no history and I took it all the way to trial and lost based on uh, prosecutorial misconduct and there were several other things I didn't testify which I think is what sealed my fate with that but nevertheless I'm innocent and I haven't seen my kids in almost two years I just left the, play, the collections office trying to set up a payment plan and uh, Colin Imes uh, an investigator uh, told me to come back when I wasn't so excited or upset about it. Now, I'm talking about a pathetic peon of a government employee that wants a little taste of the power too. He smirked and he laughed and he thought it was funny and he sent me on my way. Now my account is in, you know, I don't know if they call it default or whatever. They just drum up charges. They say you owe and if you don't pay, I mean, where do we generate the cost of court fees? Five million dollars court fees. I mean, at what point does anybody say how much and what for? Yeah, I don't know. That, that's a rant for now. But needless to say, the hook that runs through all of our backs and chains us to this system is what we need. We need to break that chain. How do we break that chain? Because it's like pulling against something that's tight. That's pulling pulling a chain that runs around you that you have no idea is also hooked to your back. You're trying to get free of, a, of something that is hooked to you, like a parasite. When everybody, when a significant portion of the population makes their blood money from this crooked, corrupt, disgusting system, how do we address that? How do we address that? Somebody please let me know.